Hi guys, welcome to story time. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late tonight. Um, I have a couple stories as promised last time that I read. I said the next time I was on, I would read King Jack and the Dragon. So we're going to read this and this is one of my favorite stories to read out loud. Um, and then we're going to read If You Give a Moose a Muffin. So we're getting ready to have a lot of fun. Um, thanks for joining me. And here we go. So King Jack and the Dragon. This is by Peter Bentley and was illustrated by Helen Oxenberry. It's flashing live, but it's not counting. So I hope that you guys um, can see me out there. So it says, Jack, Zack, and Casper were making a den, a mighty great fort for King Jack and his men. A big cardboard box, an old sheet, and some sticks, and a couple of trash bags, and a few broken bricks. A fine royal throne from a ragged old quilt, a drawbridge, a flag, and a castle was built. Prepare to do battle, brave knights, cried King Jack. Protect your king's castle from dragon attack. They spent the whole day fighting dragons can I see? Can I see mommy? Can I see? and beasts. Can I see mommy? Look at those creatures. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Rah! Oh, they were scared of King Jack and his men and return to their stronghold for fabulous feast. We'll sleep all the night in the fort, said King Jack. Then a giant came by and went home with Sir Zack. <gasps> she was little. Oh no. She was a baby. She was little. Two can fight dragons, no problem, Jack said. Then another came, giant came and took Casper to bed. See you later, Casper. Who do you think the giants are? Anybody have a guess? Wrapped up in his blanket, Jack sat on his throne. All right then, I'll fight dragons alone, he said. Then a strong gust of wind made the trees start to quiver. It's nothing, thought Jack. With a hint of a shiver, a mouse scampered over the roof, skitter scurry. It's nothing, thought Jack. There's no reason to worry. Broop, cook croaked the frog. It's nothing, thought Jack, as he switched on the light in the deepening black. <gasps> I think Jack's getting scared. He's all alone outside. Yeah, he's too hard to push To who? called an owl. It's nothing, thought Jack said, as he pulled the blanket right up over his head. And then suddenly, brave King Jack's heart skipped a beak. beat. There was something coming, a thing with four feet. <gasps> Four feet. Oh my goodness. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? It's actually with their boots. It was outside the drawbridge. King Jack gave a yelp. A dragon! A dragon! Mommy! Daddy! Help! <gasps> he wished he was anything else but a king as the drawbridge flew open. And there stood <gasps> the thing. What is it? Oh my goodness, that is a scary creature. <laughs> We're sorry, smiled Mommy, if we gave you a fright. But it's time for brave kings to come in for the night. And kings that have fought dragons all day need a bath, said Dad, as he lifted King Jack off the path. It was his parents with flashlights. Silly Jack. I knew you weren't really a dragon, yawned Jack. As he bravely rode home on the big I giant's back. The end. Look at King Jack in his bed. That was our first story. I really, really like to read this one aloud. And I think that um, we always have a good time when we do. And the second one, if you've ever read. 
dropped it, sorry. If you give a mouse a cookie, but you have not read, read if you give a moose a muffin, I'm about to fix that for you guys. So this book is by Laura Joffe Numeroff and is illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you give a mouse, if you give a moose a muffin. <laughs> if you give a moose a muffin, he'll want some jam to go with it. So you'll bring out some of your mother's homemade blackberry jam. When he's finished eating the muffin, he'll want another and another and another. When they're all gone, he'll ask you to make more. You'll have to go to the store to get some muffin mix. He'll want to go with you. When he opens the door and feels how chilly it is, he'll ask to borrow a sweater. Do you have a sweater big enough to fit a moose? When he puts on the sweater, he'll notice that one of the buttons is loose. He'll ask for a needle and thread. He'll start sewing. The button will remind him of the puppets his grandmother used to make. Wait, what's this? I have a beard. This is a beard. So he'll ask for some old socks. And he'll make sock puppets. What a silly moose! Yeah. What do you think he does next? When they're done, he'll want to put on a puppet show. He'll need some cardboard and paints. Can I need a paint? Can I need paint, please? paint. No, the paint. Then he'll ask you to help make scenery. When the sensory is finished, he'll get behind the couch and his antlers will stick out. So he'll ask for something to cover them up. You'll bring him a sheet from your bed. When he, sh when he sees the sheet, he'll remember he wants to be a ghost for Halloween. He'll try, try it on and shout, boo! It'll scare him so much, he'll knock over the paints. What a silly moose. He's making such a mess. So he'll use the sheet to clean up the mess. Then he'll ask for some soap to wash it out. He'll probably want to hang the sheet to dry. At least he cleans up after himself. He's a helpful moose. He'll go outside to put it on the clothesline. When he's out in the yard, he'll see your mother's blackberry bushes. You see where this is going? Seeing the blackberries will remind him of jam. And he'll probably ask for some. And chances are, if you give him the jam, what do you think he's going to ask for? Some. He'll want a muffin to go with it. The end. So that was If You Give a Moose a Muffin and King Jack and the Dragon. I hope you guys enjoyed those stories. Um, tomorrow is Friday, so we have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, if you haven't went to check it out yet, though, I posted Miss Lauren's Positive Action and healthy habits earlier today so go check out those really cool programs um for our girls miss Allie did a phenomenal job putting together um a video that is a little bit longer than most of us might like to watch but definitely worth it for our smart girls and academic success so check that out um there is let's see there's the workout at home challenge that's posted and there was a really cool hydro dipping um craft that we posted today as well so make sure that you check those things out tomorrow is friday so that means we'll have another drawing video pop up um and we'll have <laughs> scarlet's ready um we'll have let's see what else will we have tomorrow um we will have a lot of fun stuff coming up uh so join us tomorrow at 10 a.m. for Good Morning Club Kids, and we'll um, start the day from there. Bye, guys. Have a good night.